So, I told you that I would make you a makeup tutorial video. Um, okay, so let's get started. So, I'm just going to name off everything that you would need. Um, you would need primer, foundation, powder, brush, blush, lip colors, eyeshadow, eyeliner, brow pencil, and mascara. And I'm using this glitter um, liquid eyeliner. Okay. So, let's start. And I will tell you exactly what I'm using as I'm doing it. So, I'm going to put on my primer first. And so I get redness right about here. And a little bit here. So, the thing that you want to do is clip back your hair as much as you can if you have long hair. Take this. So, okay. So, like I was saying, I get redness right here. Primer will help to cover that part up. I buy the redness control ones. Um, I'm going to be using brands that you would be able to afford, not like the really expensive kinds um, for today. So I bought um, Maybelline Master Prime, okay, and it will cover up redness. Basically, if you have redness, green cancels out red. So sometimes like in the little makeup kits, it'll come with like powder and like a green thing and the green thing will be your primer. And that's if you have redness. So basically you take it, just kind of put it over your face. So when you're doing makeup, you want to make sure like when you're putting it all over your face, you're putting in upward strokes. That will prevent wrinkles in the future. Do not want to be dragging your face down. Okay, if you're in a hurry, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but... Okay. And then kind of, especially, put it in problem areas. Okay. Next is the foundation. So I like to put my foundation on with a Q-tip. Um, I just do it because I don't like to have to like stick my fingers in it. I don't like um, the way that like sponges look on my face. Like I, I don't know. Like it's just my preference. Some people like sponges and blenders, sponges and so basically with the foundation, put dot here, dot here, dot here. Dot here and a dot there. And if you need more, you can use more. But kind of like this with your mouth. And you can kind of totally put on more if you wish. So I just kind of scrape it on the sides. Kind of like that. Okay. 
Next is powder. So you want powder because it will help settle your foundation and kind of smooth it out a bit. Okay, so I have, oh, for the foundation, I bought Ramel London um, Match Perfection. And you want to make sure that it does match your skin. And a good way to match it is to put a little bit right here. Like, you could match it on your hand, but sometimes, like, your face gets more sun and you get a little bit more tan. Um, and sometimes even, like, your arms and your hands get more tan than your face. So you want to make sure that it, like, matches. So then take this powder. And you take the brush. No, okay, there it is. Take this brush. This powder. I bought um, Ulta. Actually, I didn't buy it. I got it for free from work. But take it. So now what you do is you just kind of like this. Take a little bit. And you see, like, there's so much on there. You can't see that I'm doing this. But basically, dab it down like this. Because you want it to fall into the brush. And then you just kind of circular motions. And that's that. You can kind of see, like, it's a little bit more smooth. I have no more redness. Okay. Next is blush. And with blush, I use the same brush. Doesn't really, like, you could use a blush brush, but I don't. Okay, so I'm using Maybelline New York again. Apparently, that's all I seem to buy from the cheap shit. Okay. So you take it. And, okay, so the problem with blush, everybody thinks blush goes here to here. Truth is, blush goes from your cheekbone up. And it drives me crazy when people do it like here, and you're like, mm, no. So you take this a little bit and go up. Take more if you need more. Apparently I need a new blush. Okay. I don't always like to put on a whole lot of blush. It makes, to me, like, makes it look like an old lady. But yeah, but it's needed because after you put on foundation and powder, you look so freaking pale. You're just like, ugh, you look like a zombie. Okay. Next, we can work on the eyes at this point. So, I'm going to go natural. It's just the look that I want to go for today. Mm. Second thought, I'm going to use gray. I am wearing a lot of gray today. So, I'm just going to do something like very, very basic. It's not a big deal. Okay, so I'm going to take this brush that looks like this. You could use, like, basically any brush. You could use, like, whatever it comes with if you want. It's not a big deal. So you just take a little. Just kind of. I put it up into, like, see that, like, little flap. Okay, and then I'm going to take white. I'm going to put white above it. Okay. 
and another cool trick put it on the inside see okay so I put it right here going up I like wearing white a lot um, I might actually switch to different white I'm not really a fan of this white Okay, so I switched to Wet n Wild thing. It only cost me like 99 cents and I love it. And even though like I normally buy like name brand stuff. Um, but so this eyeshadow is like to die for. Okay. See? I just kind of do it again. Put it. In the middle. And it looks good. Okay. So, we're going to do eyeliner, and sometimes that's the most tricky for people. I'm using just like a cheap eyeliner. I never go really, really expensive on eyeliner just because I feel like it doesn't always last, I guess. Okay. Especially because like I'm constantly replacing my eyeliner <coughs> because you're supposed to every three months. Okay, so you take it. You're not supposed to go on your waterline. I do. You're supposed to go on your lash line. This isn't really good lighting in here, but um, so I'm gonna double check it. Yep. Then you do the same. On this side. And then you can check it again. So I never put it on my top um, eyelid. I think it looks like tacky because like a lot of people just put like liquid eyeliner on the top and I think it it looks weird if you don't put eyeliner on the bottom then. And that's what a lot of people do. Okay. So mascara is next. Okay so now with mascara I don't go cheap. Um, ever. Like, ever, ever, ever. Um, so I bought Urban Decay's, um, Perversion. And got it from Ulta. It's more expensive. I don't remember how much I spent on it. Um, I never go cheap because, um, cheap sucks when it with, um, with mascara. So you just kind of go up. I never, I don't like to do like the whole like making on um, pop. I like the more natural look. I just like to darken them. I don't like to fan them out. I think it looks tacky. Okay. 
Okay. So I got that. Okay. So now, like I said, I was going to use li um, glitter liquid eyeliner. And I love it. I I bought, like, really, really cheap ones because a lot of times, like, the cheap ones will put in, like, a lot of glitter. And I love it. Okay. So, I bought it from e.l.f. I think I actually ended up buying this for, like, a class project um, back when I was in beauty school. And I loved it. So, I'm just gonna go along the um, top eyelash. Kind of have to like let it dry. I put a lot more, I think, on this one a little bit higher. Well, it feels more wet. Kind of have to like let it dry. Okay. What is next? Okay, so let's do my eyebrows. So I bought brown because brown hair. I'm just gonna. No, you don't have to do this. It's not completely necessary. It's totally up to you. I like to darken them a little bit at least. Some people will do like do it so much that it looks so fake. And you're just like holy eyebrows. If they need to be fixed, I'll fix them later. Okay, now my favorite part. So, because I did not do anything, like, bold with my eyes, I just went, like, more natural, a little, a little bit darker. I'm going to use bold lip color. Normally, I would buy really expensive lip color because... I like the quality of it, I like that it lasts long, but an alternative, and I think it lasts forever, is my matte, like my Ulta matte lip cream, and I fell in love with it. I got it for free from work, and oh my god, it never leaves my lips. Um, normally I'd buy Urban Decay, which is about uh, Manic. Lip stick. Um, that costs about twenty four dollars eighteen with my um, discount. This costs um, seven or eight dollars and like six with my discount. Okay, so I like this, and especially because like in the picture that you sent me, it looked like you got something like with a wand. So. Okay, so with matte lip, lip gloss, um, or lip cream, let me explain it to you. 
So Matt will give you that dry look, and it's amazing. So like, I hate getting glossy things because with gloss, it's sticky, it's annoying, um, my hair gets stuck in it, and whatever. Um, so then I go with matte. But the problem with matte is that you have to prepare your lips. Otherwise, it will come out dry looking and will look like you haven't used chapstick for days. So, in order for me to wear matte lip anything, I put on, or I use a lip scrub. It's um, from Blush. Basically, you just it's a little bottle and take a little bit, scrub it on your lips, and you can lick it off. It's edible. I don't lick it off. I normally just like wipe it off because I, um, I'm not a big fan of eating weird stuff. But, um, it is like Pepsi. It's amazing. Um, it tastes like Coke. So, I use that because it'll take off any of like the dry skin on your lips. Um, if you don't have access to that, then another thing that I was using before I, I got the lip scrub is this Blistex um, Deep Renewal. I don't remember. I think I bought it for like three dollars. And I do it at night and then that's how I go to bed. Sometimes I still use it and then I go to bed. Um, because then like the next day, um, I put this on at night, lip scrub, deep renewal. Those are my little tricks. I don't think I'm missing anything. You see? Nope. <gasps> Excuse me. Um, that's it. So if you have any questions at all, um, let me know. And I would be glad to help you or show you how to do something um, if I know how to do it. I can always do makeup on myself as well as I can do it on other people. But I can figure out, you know, if I need to find someone um, to do things. But yeah. So let me know if you have any questions. Alright.